Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about how to do conversion from binary to decimal and vice versa for positive and negative numbers. So let's begin. For any conversion, first we will use this method in which we will write the number in this form. Right? 1 and the 1 into 2 is 2, fit, then 2 into 2 is 4, then 8 then 16, then 32, then 64, and then 128, okay? Now for any conversion, I will be using two sort of bits here. The first one is of one byte, that is of eight bit, and the other will be of two byte, that will be of 16 bits, right? For eight bits, the number of places will be eight. Okay, for example, here the total number of places are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and for 16 bits, the total number of places will be 16. So, for 16 bits, this, this cycle will move further to the 16th bit. Okay, for the 16th time we can see. Now, let's say I want to convert here 3 to binary equivalent. Okay, I am using here 8 bit binary equivalent and 16 bit binary equivalent and we can use for any bits equivalent right it can be also used for 32 bit binary equivalent or anything right now 3 is our decimal number okay and now use this number formation and find out after adding which numbers will the sum will become 3 okay after adding which numbers this equivalent sum will become 3 okay so here if we see that after adding 2 and 1 the sum will be 3 okay now where is the position of this at the last? So I'll write here 1, 1. Why? Because after adding these two, the sum is 3. Okay. And rest will be 0. So it will be like this. Okay. This is equal, this is its 8 bits binary equivalent. Okay. Binary equivalent of 8 bit binary equivalent of 3. Now for 16 bit, we will be using 16 bits. Okay. So here I will write 1, 1. Then and then 8 again 0 okay so these are our 8 bits and these are our 8 bits okay so this is 16 bit equivalent for decimal 3 and this is 8 bit equivalent okay now let's take another number as 35 okay now see here which are the numbers are adding up to 35 now there is 32 2 and 1 Okay, so in these places I will write 1 and in the remaining place I will write 0. Okay, so I will write here 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay, again 0 and then 1 and then 0, 0. Okay, so this is 8 bit equivalent for decimal 35. Okay, similarly these 8 bits will be same here 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 and here it will be 8 zeros. Okay. Basically, 16 bit of number can hold the larger range and 8 bit will be holding the less amount of numbers. Okay, It has the less range as compared to 16 bits. Okay. Now, let's say I want to represent 127. Okay. So, the sum will be here. This, 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 this. Okay. After summing this all, the equivalent will be 127. So, I will write here 0, 1, 1, 1 and then 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, and here it will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so this is 16 bit equivalent and this is 8 bit equivalent. Okay, now we have to point on the most left hand side of bit. Okay, basically this is a signed bit. Signed bit means it will tell us the whether the number is positive or not. If it is 0, it means that a number is positive and if the bit is 1, it means our number is negative. So basically, if I ask you here, what will be the minimum and maximum number for it, then this bit will not be included for its range. Okay, only these bits, these 7 bits will be used. So it means that the minimum number can be 8 zeros, right? 8 zeros and the maximum number could be this. So, our range for 8 bits will be from 0 to 127 for positive numbers. 
and its negative range will be up to minus 128 okay which we will talk about shortly so this is about the decimal to binary conversion for positive number now let's jump to binary to decimal for positive numbers now let's take an example for binary to decimal conversion let's say our binary digits are 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. okay now we have to find its decimal equivalent okay I'm using here 8 bits but 16 bits or 32 bits can also be used okay now look at this line here and based upon one mark the numbers for example here in the first location our bit is 1 so let's mark it 2 right and then in the third location which means it and then this okay and then we will sum this number which is 8 plus 4 plus 1 which will become as 13 okay now let's take another example here 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 okay now we will mark in this position and in this position then two zeros leave this and another leave and then this and this now we will add it 64 plus 32 96 and 98 and 99 so the decimal equivalent for this binary will be 99 okay now let's take another example here right now we will not we will not mark this one we will not mark this one we will not mark and we will mark it and then mark these two okay so 96 and 104 so, so decimal equivalent will become 104 here so basically this is how we are able to represent binary into the decimal form okay but before going for the conversion for decimal to binary for negative number we should know about the ones and twos complement of binary digits let's say our binary digit digits are 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 okay and then i want to find its ones complement okay ones complement if i want to find then i will simply flip our bits so 0 will become 1 and 1 will become 0 okay so one's complement will be this right zero had become one and one has become zero okay and then i'm finding the two s complement then what i will do first i will find the one one's complement and then i will add bit one okay how let's say first i will find the one's complement which will be one 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 0 0 1 0 and then I will add bit 1 here okay so our final will be 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 okay so this is our two's complement for this binary now one thing to note here is that if let's say instead of 1 if it is here 0 then this will become 1 and this will become 1 now remember that 1 plus 1 is 1 with the carry with the carry of 1 okay and 1 plus 0 or 0 plus 1 will be 1 1 without any carry right and 0 plus 0 will all be 0 without any carry so here if we see here now then 1 plus 1 will be 1 with a carry of 1 then again 1 plus 1 will be 1 with a carry of 1 and then 1 plus 0 will be 1 and then 0 and 1 1 1 1 okay so now the two's complement will be this okay remember this rule here okay now let's jump to our conversion from decimal to binary equivalent for negative numbers basically a general form for its conversion is that for any negative numbers let's say for any negative numbers it will be represented as two's complement of its positive form okay for example if for minus 27 it will be equivalent to 2's complement of plus 27 okay now let's take an example here of let's say minus 27 okay first of all we will find the binary equivalent of positive 27 okay so the positive equivalent for 27 will be let's say this is 18 then 24 and then this okay so binary equivalent for 27 will be this okay for positive 27 remember that now we have to find its 2s complement so 1s complement will be right and then its 2s complement which means we will also add 1 here which will make it to okay 
okay so this is our binary equivalent for minus 27 okay basically it is equal to 2s complement of positive 27 okay now for 16 bit let's say first we will find the binary equivalent for positive 27 so it will be right this will be binary equivalent for 16 bit now we will flip the bits okay for finding one's complement right and then we will add one here and then sum it up then it will become 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 okay so this is our 16 bit binary equivalent for minus 27 and this is our 8 bit binary equivalent for minus 27 okay now let's take another example of let's say uh, 40 okay minus 40 right so first of all binary equivalent for 40 binary equivalent for 40 will be 32 plus 8 okay so it will be 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 right and then we will flip the bits so it will become 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 okay and then we will add 1 then we will add 1 so 1 plus 1 1 1 with carry 1 plus 1 1 1 with carry 1 plus 1 1 1 with carry and then 1 plus 0 1 and then 1 and then 0 0 and then 1 1 okay so this is our binary equivalent for minus 40 let's find 16 bit equivalent for minus 40 okay first find the binary equivalent for 40 which will be 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 and then 8 zeros here right and then we will flip the bits Right. and then we will add 1 right for 2s complement then 1 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 1 1 with carry 1 plus 1 is 1 1 with carry 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 0 1 1 and 8 ones here okay so this is our binary equivalent for minus 40 okay so i hope you are getting the idea how can we convert from decimal to binary for negative numbers now let's see binary to decimal for negative numbers for negative numbers binary to decimal we will only find its 2s complement and that will be all for example let's say our bits are 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 okay and since the most left hand side bit is our 1 that means our number will be negative right now what we will do we will find its 2s complement okay so it will give us here 0 0 and then 1 1 0 1 0 and 0 right and then we will add 1 for finding 2s complement which will make it 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 okay and now we will find its decimal equivalent okay so now if we find it then we will see here that our number will become the positive okay so the binary equivalent will be let's say this will be our first and then this then this and then after second okay so 32 plus 8 40 44 and 45 so decimal equivalent is 45 and since we already know that our number was negative so we will write here minus 45 okay so basically binary equivalent sorry decimal equivalent for this binary will be minus 45 right let's take another example i am writing here 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 okay and then we will find its 2s complement which will make it 0 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 okay and then add 1 and then finally it will become 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 okay so basically in the initial we already know that our number will be whatever the number is it will be negative okay now we will find its decimal equivalent now decimal equivalent will be 1 plus 2 3 7 and then 15 okay and then we have 31 and then we have 63 okay so it will be 63 and since we already know that our number is negative so it is the equivalent for minus 63 here now let's take another example here let's say 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 okay we want to find its decimal equivalent now we already know that our number is negative since 
in the most left hand side one is one bit is written here so we will find its best, uh, its first complement firstly okay then we will add one to find its second complement which will make it this and then we will find its decimal equivalent okay so this was our 1 2 4 8 16 and our equivalent will be 16 plus 2 plus 1 which will be 19 and since we already know that our number is uh, here 1 is written so our number will be negative so it will be equivalent to minus 19 okay so I hope you are getting that how we can find the binary to decimal equivalent for negative numbers so that's all for today guys I hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and I have to see in the next video